after the game, not just tomorrow night, but right through game nine here at home? You know, I think what we learn about Las Vegas is uh, fans are looking for a team to root for. If you, if you invest yourself as being part of the community. So we did a lot of community activities. You know, the last 18 months was all about you know, getting the schools, getting the kids to know about us. We held clinics. Uh, so that's that's really, you know, what you have to do here in Vegas because this town otherwise is very transient, right? You have a lot of tourists that come in. Uh, so the, the people who actually live here are looking for someone that's permanent here that they can root for. How about when you come in here and you see the amount of support for our season ticket holders? We've got you guys in the marquee out there. I mean, the Desert Dogs have already kind of made somewhat of a footprint here in Vegas. Well, I hope we have because we had 18 months to prepare. And I, you know, here's the thing. You know, well, we, we picked a name that's fitting for Vegas, right? We picked the Desert Dogs. And obviously the desert reference, but also uh, the dog mentality. It's, it's uh, something I think that's very fitting for uh, the community here. People are very resilient here. And once they move here, they don't move away. So, Joe, you've had an interesting month or two. How nice is it maybe to get away from the other franchise and come here, start a new project, and just kind of get away from that situation? Well, I no, I love any form of sports, especially mm-hmm. basketball and lacrosse. Mm-hmm. So I don't feel like I have to get away from something else, and I'm I'm just really looking forward to you know bringing a new lacrosse team here to Las Vegas, and uh, uh, this is our second team in the league. You know, we had the San Diego Seals, and last weekend I don't know if you saw the game. In, Seals versus Sass last week. You still weekend. own the, uh, San, still Diego own the San Diego team. I mean, we were down by seven goals. We were like down 10 mm-hmm. 3, and then right. we scored nine goals straight to come back. They tied the game. We won in overtime. That's so exciting. And I hope we, we get to see some exciting. This is like the opposite of soccer, right? You're getting a lot of goals here, like 20 to 25 goals a game, right? So, very different from soccer. Soccer is all about building yeah. up the anticipation and mm-hmm. then the frustration of missing the goal, right? <laughs> right? But this is like there's a lot of scoring. Yeah. 30 second shot clock, there's constant movement on the floor, there's music, which adds to the excitement. So, you know, you, you guys are going to love it. Joe, I think five of the 15 teams are owned also by NHL teams Owners, around yeah. the league. And I'm wondering, how will that provide, you know, a, a base of financial stability, you know, for the league and for you guys? Yeah. I mean, you're an NBA owner, but yeah. you offer some financial stability to the franchise. What, what role will that play? Well, if, if you look at the NLL, look at the ownership levels, there's the N- NHL teams, uh, obviously, you know, have the wherewithal to support lacrosse. Uh, and then you have uh, independent owners that are just fanatical about lacrosse, right? They, they're in this because of lacrosse. Uh, and, and, and then... You know, people like me were coming into this new, uh, but I'm more of an entrepreneur. I love the sport, and um, you know, I just want to support it forever. Why Las Vegas? Why this? I mean, there are other markets around the country, but why? Why specifically this is Las Vegas? The best sports town in America. Mm-hmm. How come we haven't had an NBA team here yet, though? I don't know. You have to ask uh, Adam Silver about that. You think it'd be a good idea? You have I think any opinion? A very good idea because uh, you know, look at the fan base. It's really. It's, uh, they really want to support a local team. LeBron definitely wants one. <laughs> yeah. I say well, LeBron definitely well, wants one. Sure, if he, if he wants to bring one here, wants to invest, uh, but he said he's going to play another five, seven years, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> one last thing, as far as like, you, you 